Hi, welcome. Today I would uh, like to continue about the TPL data flow and how to write a custom uh, data flow block on your own uh, using what is called encapsulate method. So let's get started. So I have prepared uh, actually some uh, starter code and also some documentation to explain what I'm trying to do so it will be easy. So basically I have a regular transform block which will uh, be supplied some input say 0 through 9 and all it does is multiplies all of those numbers by 3 so the output is going to be just this uh, 3, 6, 9, 12 and so on. Uh, in the middle we want to write something called a, a custom block and right now I'm going to uh, be using a method called sum odd numbers as a custom block and what this is going to do is uh, essentially produce an output where it sums the odd numbers for example the odd numbers coming in this three is first one is three so it will sum those to three the next odd number is nine so three plus nine would be twelve then the next odd number is 15, so 15 plus 12 would be 27 and so on. So you can see that it basically has little state where it is keeping track of what it has summed till now and if it gets an uh, odd number it will um, uh, add to it and output it. And here in the consumer is just a simple action which is a console.write. So uh, for now uh, I'm going to have uh, some odd numbers as just a buffer block. So what you will see is you go through this transformation, this buffer block will just take this and output this whole thing. So the output is just going to be 0, 3, 2, 27 and we'll see this in action. So let me just show you this starter code here so we can easily see it. And I'm going to first uh, run it and then kind of explain the starter code to you. And you can watch my previous videos if you uh, want to see how to write some of these blocks uh, because I've covered them in some of the earlier videos. So here you can see uh, I just print TPL hello and then we are seeing those numbers being multiplied by three. They are being outputted. Transformer is done. Consumer is done. And all looks uh, fine and dandy. So let's just take a quick look at the starter code before we start creating a custom block. So here is our starter code. Uh, basically we first create a transform block which is taking its input and multiplying by 3. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, our consumer block is at the very end which is just an action block. So you can see it just uh, does a print statement and sleeps for small amount of time whatever the input is. So that's pretty straightforward. So we, this is the one we want to write as custom, but for now we'll just keep it as a buffer block. So you can see it's just a buffer block. So whatever it gets in this input and will output it back again. So now we are linking our transform block to the producer block and we are propagating completions and we are linking this producer block that we have in between and link it to the end consumer block. And we also propagate completions. We are, we are sending input to the transform block and we are completing the transform block and when the transform block is completed we write transformer done consumer block is done consumer done and we wait in the whole task just to make sure all our data flow pipeline is working so that's pretty much uh, what we have right now and to recap you can see uh, basically we don't have the sum odd numbers we just have a buffer block so the output is just going to be just this so that's all we have so let's see how you could go about writing a custom block to write a custom block what we want to do is get uh, remove this obviously and uh, start making a custom block. To make a custom block uh, through the encapsulate method you can use what is called an I propagator block. An I propagator block is basically it inherits from both source block and the target block and uh, that's what we want to use in this case. So let's just get started and uh, I'm going to start changing it. So instead of buffer block, we want I propagator block. And it uh, is similar generic. It takes basically two input. And in this case, our everything is numbers. So that's what we got. And first thing we want to do is, uh, since we need to maintain our state, uh, I'm going to declare a variable here called sum and initialize it to zero. So this is the variable which will have our state. And uh, so whenever the input is coming, we want to first feed it to uh, an action block here. And I'm just going to call it the target. 
and this is going to be an action block so let's just make it an action block and it is going to take messages such as integers so that's all good and good and we will make it an async function here because just uh, so that we can use uh, async action and the action we are going to do in here is very straightforward we check if the input that is coming in is an odd number and to do that you can divide it uh, modulo 2 and if it is uh, not equal to 0 that means it's an odd number we basically want to sum So this is pretty straightforward. If we have an odd number, we will get a new sum. And uh, only other thing we want to do at this point is essentially send this information to our one more block that we will need to create uh, inside this uh, propagator block. And I will name that output block, for example, because this is the output of this whole thing. And we will send async uh, this new information there. So now we just need to define what this output is and uh, this output is going to be very straightforward and I will just make it a buffer block. So we will call it var output is equal to new buffer block. okay so basically uh, we have our action block which is summing with its state and then it just sends it to a buffer block now the problem uh, that will come up is how do we link this into something which is like a, a block for us so luckily for us uh, tpl has provided this uh, static method so we will use that and it is called data flow block and it is called encapsulate method. We are going to use what is called an encapsulate method. And we are essentially have to specify the same messages we are getting, which are integers. So the encapsulation, the work is target and then the output block. So this is uh, actually all uh, we need to uh, do because it returns for me an I propagator block, which is essentially doing the stateful and creating a block for us. The only other thing we need to make sure that um, whenever our target block, which is the input to all this thing, uh, the target is the input to all this, uh, we propagate its completion also. So let me add some code for that and it's going to be target.completion.continue with oops sorry and we'll just write a lambda here and the way uh, we do the completion i'm going uh, not check for whether it's faulted or not and do a simple completion uh, which is basically whenever we are completed we will complete the output also the buffer block so we will complete that as well so if you uh, do this basically uh, when we have our action we are doing the stateful summing and then we send it to a buffer block and we encapsulate it by this method so that's all you really need to do is to get a new block that will do what we need to do so let's uh, see if it uh, works and i didn't make any uh, mistakes so let me uh, just pretty this program here and uh, run this again and i'm going to clear this so here uh, is the test and see how well this worked so here you can see we are getting our desired output so actually if you want to uh, create a new uh, custom block 
uh, this is a, a pretty good method to use high propagator blocks and also to data flow block dot encapsulate there is actually another method which is uh, using uh, uh, class hierarchy and it is a little bit more involved uh, if I have time I will probably cover it in some other session at a later point so I'm going to add this video under TPL uh, data flow uh, custom block and thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day